All right. All right, guys. What are we doing? What are we doing, John? Got to load up a couple snowmobiles. Probably like a two hour process. At least, maybe yeah. six. So, all right. Harry, you want this? I tried to start the Massey, but it's too cold. I started the Massey like two weeks ago yeah. when it was warm and it started right up, but it was too cold. I yeah. gave it an honest effort. So I don't know if you want to use this shitty chain that doesn't have a hook on one side. Like the no. hook broke off. I don't know if that's heavy enough. The other one's like three times that size, but yeah, I'll just I'll just grab my dad's. All right, I figured that was not good, but it didn't hurt to bring it. So. Yeah. Thanks. All right, let me uh get a gift for you there in the glove box. Not the Gatorade. So. Nice. So. Thank you. No problem. Enjoy. It's a little we'll stirred up because uh, you know, rode up the That's all right. road. <laughs> so the there you go. All right, let's get something done. Put a little bit of pressure on these. What's that? Ready? Yep. All right, guys. Help John real quick get those snowmobiles on this trailer so we can put them in storage for the winter. And uh, yeah, now I gotta do the same for me. So I'm gonna try to fiddle with this uh, Shelter Logic for a few minutes. See if I can somehow prop it back up. This is just a lost cause, guys. Probably 500 pounds of water. Not 500 pounds, but... help all right guys that's about as good as it gets <laughs> at least get in there i feel bad jen bought this for me for christmas a year and a half ago 
and it served its purpose. I mean, originally we were going to use it as a workshop up at camp or up at the cabin so we could do trim over the winter and work on stuff in the cabin, have my like tools set up. And then we, we needed somewhere to park the mule because the mule doesn't fit in the shed here. And we didn't have the pole barn up by camp, by the cabin yet. So this served its purpose. You know, a couple hundred dollars. It's, it took care of us for a year, year and a half. Uh, and then the only thing that really took it out was that two foot of snow that we got when we were down state for Christmas. So guys, when you put your snowmobiles away and they're outside like mine, I'm going to tarp them. But my uncle told me, put a piece of steel wool up the exhaust pipe so a mouse doesn't crawl up in there and build a nest in your muffler. So I've been doing that and the last five years and so far so good. They do crawl underneath the hood <laughs> and try to make nests in your air box or apparently under your heat shield. If you guys watched the last video about my evil trespasser, uh, we fixed the blue snowmobile, or the teal one, or green one, whatever it is here. And uh, John came by, we were putting all this, getting all the snowmobiles prepped for uh, summer, summerization. <laughs> so put a little bit of steel wool up your stove, up your stove pipe, up your exhaust pipe, and that'll keep the mice out of your muffler. Tip of the day. Save it. There's like four poles that aren't been. Thanks for my Christmas present two years ago. Well, the only thing I don't really have anywhere for it is 
this stupid thing. What are you going to use that for? Nothing. about you, Timber. You're such a ham. Like your my... brother. Just gotta keep an eye on you, buddy. You just take one second. You're smelling something and then you're gone. <laughs> so guys, the boat is a little bit of a mess. That's why we needed to build a lean-to off of the shed last year rather than, or the year before, rather That's than. That's why we're gonna build it this year. Yeah, we gotta get a lean-to for, we gotta get a lean-to for the sawmill saw and a lean-to for this. I just wasn't sure what to do. Like we just, with the pole barn is critical up at camp. So that was more important. I mean, this boat, Literally, I had it stripped down to nothing. I took the seats out of it because it just had bench seats. And I put, you know, I don't know if it was marine, but it was at least treated plywood. I only have like 800, 900 bucks into this boat. Not that I should neglect it, but at least that's why I have stuff like this up here. So I don't destroy a $10,000 boat. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not $10,000 to spend on a boat. We'll, but... we'll cover it up. We'll build a little shelter for it this year. I'll do a little lean to off the shed here like mill, you said. Some, mill some beams and build. pop it up yeah it shouldn't take too long lean twos don't take too long to build we'll figure something out yeah. well, all right guys thanks for hanging out with me during this winter or you know summarization putting things away spring the snowmobile yeah this putting the snowmobiles away and then spring cleaning um we're gonna get into some cool projects here in the next few weeks so the weather's been back and forth, so it just makes it hard to do stuff outside when it's raining and cold. But, and snowing. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out with us during this video, guys. Uh, we'll get into some better projects soon. We appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.